This is Spectra. Alternative Myths. Homeopathy. Secret Society. Hypnosis. The Paranormal. Alternative Energy. UFO. Abduction. The Weird. The Wild. And the Wonderful. With your hosts, Tom Theophanes and Scott Jordan. Hello, good evening, welcome to the Spectrum Radio Network on BBS Radio 2. I'm Scott Jordan, and remember, there's no such thing as too much information. Well, I'm here with Dan Winter, and Dan Winter's background is as multifaceted as his viewpoint. Graduating with honors from the University of Detroit, Dan pursued graduate studies in psychophysiology and the origin of languages. In addition to his academic background, he's worked as a system analyst analysis, uh, for IBM an industrial metallurgist, and crystal geography. Dan is an accomplished keyboard artist with a, and is a consultant on multimedia and virtual reality computer animation projects and travels and lectures around the world. He has produced over 50 videos on numerous subjects. His website is goldenmean.info and is loaded with information and videos. Hello, Dan. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. It sounds like fun. I like what you do. Yeah, thanks. Uh, what I wanted to uh, get into today is fractal field, uh, the fractal field technologies and biotech. Um, first of all, could you just maybe give me a little bit of history before we get into that about yourself? Sure. Yes, um, you know, we were um, doing uh, psychophysiology and biofeedback and became intrigued with the nature of peak perception. I have two inventions, the heart tuner where I invented the word and the measurement of heart coherence using a second-order power spectra, the EKG. It's a biofeedback to measure empathy. It's widely used in tantra training as well, the heart tuner, which is my invention. And then the bliss tuner, which measures brain waves for peak perception, bliss, and enlightenment. And I pioneered the concept of measuring brain wave power spectra for golden mean ratio, which is an indicator of basically enlightenment. <laughs> it's when you're body's aura gets fractal and centripetal, you attract charge, and that sort of defines peak perception and enlightenment. So measuring brain waves for a golden ratio is a powerful tool, which I invented and developed in my invention, the bliss tuner. It's all at goldenmean.info. Anyway, the point here in terms of background for fractal field is that that golden mean ratio in brain waves is evidence of the onset of what's called phase conjugation, because golden mean optimizes the adding and multiplying, which is the conjugation of phases which in physics is the only place they've discovered self-organization. And it led to my new theory that phase conjugation is the cause of perception, and later we now know it's also the cause of gravity. So it's pretty exciting stuff. And to visualize it, it's, I mean, you know, phase conjugation, the geometry is as simple as visualizing a caduceus, which is perfect damping defined by golden ratio. Mm -hmm. And it, in three dimensions, it makes the picture, which is animated at goldenmean.info slash grail, which is literally a grail cup in 3D. You can start by imagining a, a rose. So when electric fields make a picture like a rose, they become implosive and centripetal, and that is the solution to almost every mystery of science and spirituality, in my humble view, including alchemy and uh, the origin of gravity, the origin of color, the origin of perception, and the origin of life itself. And it's called fractal field theory, and we talk more at fractalfield.com. So there's a little intro, and there's lots of technologies that go with it. And lots of information on your website as well. It's pretty packed. you got lots of different areas there. Uh, what, what exactly is a fractal field? Well, that's, I mean, you know, in non-electrical engineering terms, it's been called orgon or scalar or torsional. And the, these terms, some people just call it information, which is too vague. But now in precise electrical engineering terms, it's called a phase conjugate dielectric. And as uh, Tom Bearden wrote for years, those are bioactive, and I'm the first to really measure and describe in detail the symmetry and produce and uh, further measure the bioactivity. For example, uh, an example of a phase conjugate dielectric is a, is a gold crown put on the head of a king. It accelerates metabolism and forces pure intention, and the way we measure that is, uh, is something I'd like to talk about. Okay. And... Uh... What are the effects of that on biology? Well, <clears throat> you see, 
let's start with a with a, a chicken egg or a pine cone that if you measure the voltage end to end on a chicken egg it will be about 4 to 14 millivolts uh, which that voltage is called called life and it comes from gravity and that voltage got there because it's fractal and that voltage came from gravity and making that voltage is the difference between life and death in every biological protein basically and so if you look at the geometry that causes that voltage to be present the electronegativity that identifies life a centripetal force it gets there because the structure is electrically fractal mm -hmm. witness the fact that every living protein is five-sided for that reason because golden mean ratio is required right. so the reason that pine cones and chicken eggs get voltage from gravity they do it the same way your heart does by getting fractal so the bumper sticker for this movement is get fractal or get dead <laughs> and so once you understand that you understand that every living thing has to be fractal or it dies and now we we know that include houses and cities so houses and cities need to look like and be made of the same materials as living pine cones and then the life inside will thrive so to prove that in biophysics we we build these devices called a phase conjugate dielectric or fractal field example uh, purify.com p y r a p h i which is a five-sided pent gold pyramid which is phase conjugate it's basically a modern day ark of the covenant or fractalfield.com slash icosify people can see dramatic examples in these structures we have measured replicated 40 to 60 percent increase in metabolic rate say in fermentation even though there's zero power applied and so it's it creates an electric field which is centripetal which accelerates life because life is the centripetal nature of the field uh, <clears throat> Also, these structures reduce electrosmog and reduce radioactivity, as did the Ark of the Covenant, made of similar materials and similar geometry. These are based on log functions of golden ratio times Planck length and Planck time, which is what I've newly proved is the geometry of hydrogen. Oh, uh, you're doing some work in Australia on that. Could you tell me a little bit about that? Because it, it, that yeah. connects, doesn't it? Yes, exactly. Well, Basically, I was the first to write the equation to prove that Planck length times golden ratio precisely, profoundly predicts the radii of hydrogen, uh, goldenmean.info slash golden proof. <clears throat> and further then, I developed a series of equations, uh, Planck time, golden ratio, that predicted the frequencies of hydrogen. So I have new information in my new physics and my new equations for both the radii and frequency of hydrogen, which leads us to perfect the frequency and electric field to sing to water to make it burn. Examples would be include uh, the, the Kansas effect, mm -hmm. the, the Stan Myers, the Joe Cell, the, uh, the Magna Gas Santilli. All these devices are basically a subset of what I now have as a master set of equations which predicts precisely the frequencies to burn water. And that will be the end of the energy crisis for sure. And so we have support and some funding and fancy toys and RF spectrum analyzers and high-frequency generators and the whole fund. And a bunch of us are getting together in Melbourne. Uh, actually, we leave in two days. And we're playing with our toys. Right. Does this have anything with, uh, to do with what uh, Bearden talked about, um, the negative energy? Uh, Tom Bearden really, you know, he overdid the fear thing with his Excalibur briefing, but he got onto something very helpful in his papers on phase conjugate dielectrics and how they're bioactive. Mm -hmm. He's getting a bit old now, and he sort of missed the golden ratio, but he got the idea, the Priory device and others, that these electric fields are profoundly bioactive and predict healing, and we now know why, and we now know how to measure it and how to make it. So it has a lot to do with a lot of Bearden's writings. I summarize our relationship to that work of Bearden at goldenmean.info slash phase conjugate. Okay. Okay. That's very interesting. So you guys are, uh, there's a, a collection of people, you being one of them, that is uh, getting together in Australia to do what? Uh, practical experimentation? People can read the description of our hydrogen fusion project at fractalfield.com slash hydrogen. And basically, now that I know the frequency signature to ring hydrogen, you can very efficiently do hydrolysis, radical efficient, efficiency. It, it, it's, a, uh, it's an implosive field effect that takes low wattage in to gently sing the hydrogen atom out of water. It's the same as the physics of the heart of the sun, basically. The fact that golden ratio times, pr 
produces both the radii and frequencies of hydrogen times Planck is absolute proof that hydrogen is profoundly fractal. We've been working for years with our friend Pat Flanagan on this, who appears at a lot of our conferences. And we have a bunch of commercial projects in, underway with him. And, uh, yeah, it's all it's fun. And this, is, this can be used practically. This, is, this can be used um, to power homes, to, to, to power cars. To oh, it's really very right? simple. When you know how to burn water, there is no energy crisis. It can be used to power anything. Now, now, can you connect that? Just curious. Can you connect that with desalination plants? Um, <clears throat> or does it well, matter whether the water is, is seawater? Yeah, the energy to make steam is related. I mean, a parallel technology is my implosion technology, theimploder.com, where we've also measured the ability to eliminate chlorine in water. That basically, when you combine various forms of centripetal force, let's call it Schauberger's dream, the mm-hmm. implosion technology, theimploder.com, um, you see that uh, we have the angle of a water vortex designed by the equation for hydrogen and Planck, which is called phase conjugation hydrodynamically. And then from the output of that centripetal nozzle vortex, you can see the 3D animations at the imploder.com. Then um, we input to a what's called a phase conjugate magnetic array, which I invented. In phase conjugate magnetics, the like poles of the magnet attract and further eliminate pain. And when we array them within a nine-pair gap, which is the plasma physics of self-organization, you have a phase conjugate magnetic, which is motorized by the centripetal spin hydrodynamically at the molecular level, and what comes out is a water molecule that's stable basically as a mono molecule. For the same physics of why a gold atom is stable in the monoatomic state in a phase conjugate dielectric, like the Ark of the Covenant, you have the condition of monomolecular stability or uh, reduced molecular cluster size in water, which results in drastically increased solubility and all kinds of... So we're getting 30 to 300% growth effects in agriculture and improved hydration and all kinds of fun stuff in water. Read right. it all at theimploder.com. And, and, you, and you can – so what we're getting is you're, we're getting healing technologies, energy technologies. Um, all kinds – a complete range of technologies. For example, when Elizabeth Rauscher with FDA study proved that magnetic harmonics eliminate pain, I was the first to write the equation to predict what those harmonics are. And it is phase conjugate magnetics, and now she agrees with me. And is there is there a product available for that? The closest product available for that it would would be fractalfield.com slash icosify. Okay. And you'll see there the phase conjugate dielectric is pictured. The phase conjugate magnetic is being installed, but that's still experimental. Yeah. But we're quite clear the physics of why it eliminates pain. Pain is basically fractal field that's bleeding fractality due to the loss of fractal symmetry. So when you store, com- restore compression, you eliminate pain and accelerate healing. For example, when you shoot a profound negative ion wind at the body and eliminate most kinds of infection if you have proper grounding, that is the restoration of a centripetal field. You can do that magnetically as well. And that's called phase conjugate magnetics, and I invented it. You keep working on this stuff, you're going to live forever. Well, <laughs> actually... Uh, immortality is a name for restored charge distribution efficiency, like when the Hopi ancestors, you know, start dying because they put metal pipes on the old Arabi. It's because the charge circulation in the landscape, when it's fractal, is the plasma field of ancestors. Okay. So that's that's a possibility then, you say. You, do you think that's a possibility within our lifetime? Well, if you look at the electrical measurements that Karatkov did of the death process and where the plasma field goes, we now know where it goes, why it goes, and what the sequence of symmetry operations are. You can read it all and see the pictures, goldenmean.info slash immortality. Mm. And that's connected to, you did a video series um, about DNA as well. Quite a few. Quite a few. It was a 12-part series, I believe. Well, it originally was a DVD set that filmed in Belgium, and then various people reprinted parts of it. We have probably about 100 DVDs in about six different languages and thousands of different film clips on the web. I don't keep track of them all. But, yes, the original film was called The Purpose of DNA. Was yeah, exactly. In yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. I mean, you did a slideshow and everything. What I found very interesting about that was the fractality of the heart and the 